You can use Simulink functions to model utilities, access of shared resources, client server architectures, or remote procedure calls. Simulink functions do this by making it easier for the Simulink user to define and access functions that are reused throughout the model, either in Simulink or Stateflow. The Simulink function and function caller blocks are new blocks in the user-defined functions library. You use the Simulink function block to define functions that are reused throughout the model and called by its name via a function caller block. You can add a Simulink function and function caller block to the canvas. The two blocks will be connected via a signature, so you type in the signature into the Simulink function block to show what are the outputs and inputs, as well as to give the function a name. If you look inside the block, you see that the input and output arguments are already provided in the canvas. If you change the signature, the interface will change as well. When you generate code, the signature will become the prototype of the generated function. Simulink function blocks need to be at the top level of the model. This is to avoid problems where there can be naming conflicts and also to reinforce the idea that these functions are for modeling system resources to be accessed at any level of the hierarchy. To access this function, the function caller block will need the same signature. If you are referring to a function in the same model, you do not need to provide the argument specifications. By simulating the model, you can see that the function caller block is calling the Simulink function. The Simulink function can also be called directly from Stateflow. We can directly access the Simulink function by name, the same way we would do it normally with Stateflow functions. Similarly, an exported graphical function from Stateflow can also be called from a function caller block using its signature. Stateflow needs the input and output ports to have the data type, signal type, and dimension defined. By default, the Simulink function block has a double data type, scalar dimensions, and a real signal type. You can also generate code for the Simulink functions and function callers in the model. You can see that the function caller calls the function in the code, and the definition of the function is generated as well.